And we got kids dying. And people, I mean, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get back on my store. But we're trying to get our way, comprehensive ways to stop this. You know what I mean? We got babies dying. Weeks behind weeks. Every weekend we're losing another kid, 16. And for that girl backstage, they make it publicly clear. Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Rick James, bitch. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. What up, what up, what up? This is One Buck Podcast, man. We're back on, with another video today, man, regarding Big U. We're going to sit back, man, listen to what Big U is kicking as far as game uh, regarding Gilly the Kid, son, man. And just the overall thing of getting your youngsters together, man, being able to powwow and have that sit down, man, to understand that these things like this can't happen, man. So y'all sit back, man, listen to how y'all do. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, bang that notification bell. And give us that subscription, man, right here for One Buck Podcast, where we keep it a buck, boy. I just got through eating. And I've been on the phone. I wrote the proposal up. The idea I had as far as trying to create ways to get more youngsters know each other and meet each other that's from different sides I kind of don't like that idea because it will require us to take kids places and then unite you put them together so what I'm trying to think of and I'm asking everybody on here is in your own opinion, like I'm just looking for different ideas. I'm gonna look at all ideas and ways that we can get the vast majority of these different kids from different areas to come and be able to know each other, get to meet each other. And to me, that's the way you stem gang violence. You stem it, you stem it by getting people to know each other, getting people to, 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 to have open discussions and let people know it's all right to be from a certain area. And we don't have no, we haven't, we, we need to teach the young kids what adults have to eventually learn about conflict resolution and being able to, you know what I mean? Not win every argument. Like it should be, it should be like rules of engagement. Like if you say your hood, then he say his hood, it should stop right there. Not to say nobody got to stop it or not to say that's a violation, but that it should stop right there. Like, okay, you told him where you was from. He told you where he was from. All right, it's right there. It, it shouldn't go no further than, especially if you guys are on the same team. You know what I'm saying? I think what I'm saying is, is there is no perfect way to, to stem gang violence or to stem violence amongst people. Because nobody can say how somebody gonna feel when they wake up the next morning. And can't nobody blame it on gang members. We can blame it on ourselves, our culture. Because at the end of the beginning of the day, brothers fight sisters, sisters fight brothers. So we know that's gonna happen. Blacks fight blacks, white fights white. It's all gonna happen. But right now we're trying to come up with, with solutions and ideas. But like I said, we just lost a 17 year old yesterday. And he played for us. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's getting to be ridiculous because, you know, when you got kids and these kids are raising up these organizations, and, and it's not grown people killing kids, it's kids killing kids. You know what I'm saying? So, we got to figure this out. We got to figure out ways to, to, you know what I mean? To, um, get in front of it. You gotta figure it out real fast. Not not tomorrow, but like we need to figure that out like ASAP. So I'm gonna be going um I'm gonna go out here to practice right now.
Um, if you got ideas, reach out to me. Send them to me. One idea that I'm thinking about off of what I just sent and wrote hours is if we could get into the high schools and create a bridge program in the high school with all the different kids, where the kids go to different high schools and kids meet each other and become friends and commune with different high schools. And, you know what I mean? And um, that's just another idea I threw out there. But, like I said, if you ain't with positive, if you ain't with doing something positive, if you ain't breathing positive on this Instagram and on this feed, then you a hater. Then everything about you is about destroying us and our people. So if y'all see somebody here saying some ignorant stuff, when we talking about people losing their lives, a 17-year-old just lost his life. We lost, we had, in the last three weeks, three 16-year-olds lost their lives. That's on us. Social media should be used to help unify our people. And no matter what somebody's past is, I still see people going up and down my timeline saying the most ignorant stuff possible. You know what I mean? That's the distraction. You know, but I'm going to address that distraction in a positive way. Um, we need to make people be responsible. All these social media networks that's constantly pushing out this, this negativity. You know what I mean? That's our responsibility. Stop unfollowing them. Even if you go look at their stuff, don't follow them. That's the first key. If they putting out something negative and it's always negative, it's always about killing some guns and all this, and all, we losing our babies, go unfollow them. None of these negative sites should have no 13,000, 14, 15. They start getting paid after they get 10,000 followers. But this is stuff that we can do. This, you got the power to unfollow them. If you still want to go look at that garbage, go look at it, but don't give them the follow. Because we sitting there, man, I mean, I'm sitting there really like, no matter what my past was, at some point I got to grow up and become a man. Sometime I got to grow up and, and be the person that's helping our community. And that's what I've been doing. And we got kids dying and people, I mean, you know, anyway, I'm going to get back on my store. But we're trying to get our way, comprehensive ways to stop this. You know what I mean? We got babies dying. Weeks behind weeks. Every weekend we're losing another kid, 16. You don't even get to make your own decisions till you 11 or 12. I'm gone. Y'all stop. I'm following everybody that says something negative, comments. man. Definitely run it up with us, man. And just give us your perspective. You feel me? Uh, you know, we're going to do what we do, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. 